Abbey. And our favorite gaming memory of 2020 by far was when a friend of ours said that he really wanted to celebrate his birthday this year. Um, and it was obviously difficult due to COVID. So he said, let's have a birthday party at the Fortnite Party Royale Island. And so a group of us grown men got on Fortnite, went to the party island and had a birthday party like we were 10 years old. We rode those carts, we launched ourselves off of the pirate ship to hit the targets, played the skydiving mini games, we danced at the concert hall, we took a group photo. It was just this beautiful communal experience in a virtual space um, that was the next best thing to having a real birthday celebration in person. Yo, what's up? My name is Blessing Adioye Jr. from Kinda Funny Games, uh, a game that helped shed a bit of positivity in my life in 2020 is The Pathless. The Pathless came out as a PS5 launch title, and it came out at a time where I really needed something, anything to really remind me of the idea that we can restore light into the world. And The Pathless is a game that is all about restoring life and peace to a world that has been plagued with dread and darkness and death. Uh, I highly recommend Pathless to anybody. I really enjoyed my time with it. And uh, yeah, no, it helped, me, it helped comfort me uh, in this year, 2020. Hey, Victor, uh, my name is Wade. Uh, I'm a huge fan. I've been watching for years and years and years. Uh, I'd have to go ahead and say that my biggest thing from this year is all the video games I've been able to spend playing with other people. Uh, League of Legends with my youngest brother, Fortnite with random strangers, Genshin Impact with people from all over the world. And uh, you know what? Even spending some alone time and playing Demon Souls on my new PS5. It's incredible. The one that kept me the most sane isn't new. It's actually about two years old and it's Among Us. I played it so much and it was one of those games where, uh, you know, it was a multiplayer online game where you can uh, work with others and then uh, chat and try to find out who the imposter is on board. There's some other levels as well, but of course uh, the main one's on a spaceship. And it just really, you know, it was just so fun and just chatting at the same time. It really helped, uh, you know, make those uh, tougher days better throughout this year. So I would have to say Among Us was just super fun and uh, it just kept me sane so like a super easy game that's also free and on mobile devices and only five bucks for the pc and just a blast so among us i would have to say is one of my top games of the year for keeping me sane during a pandemic this is snake actually this is david Hayter. i'm the voice of solid snake uh, and i was asked for a positive memory from a 2020 game that made an impression on me as snake would say this has been a tough isolating year what with this damn fox die virus. And a number of games, new and old, have helped me get through it. But I think the most special experience that I've had has to be Marvel's Miles Morales. I love Spider-Man games and I always have. I play them endlessly until I'm dreaming that I'm swinging through Manhattan street canyons. And I pretty much loved every game that's come out. But Miles Morales felt special. Not only does it build upon Spidey's already extraordinary game mechanics, but the fact that the studio cast and designers chose to dive into a world of diverse characters, showcasing the music, realities, and humanity of people of color who are typically so underrepresented in mainstream hero culture was an act of bravery, originality, and it created a truly kick-ass gaming experience. Beautifully acted by Najee Jeter and the entire cast and voice directed by my old friend and Metal Gear director, Chris Zimmerman Salter, this game gave me chills and warmed my heart all at the same time. Congratulations to everyone involved.